Boys and girls, my name is Mike Kelly again. The Illusion Forum, AnimatorsForum.com, whatever. <laughs> I'm around Facebook. Um, another another version of my uh, Daz to iClone uh, project. A couple more things, and also a little more in depth on how to work with these sort of things. Just to give you an idea, the the more I show you, the more it'll help you feel comfortable with this process. This is a uh, uh, a Daz one called Old London Alley. See that here? Okay, it's in 3D studio, uh, in 3D Exchange. Loads up really good, easy. Um, now we, we're going to send this to iClone, okay? Send it to iClone right here. I'm going to bring over iClone. And one of the things people wanted to point out is what version of iClone you need to have to run the, the scripts that I'm running. Right now, the version uh, that I have, uh, what version do I have here? I th well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a link to the version that I'm using, the most current developer version. If you can't get my scripts to run properly, if they aren't doing it, then that's the first thing to check is to make sure you have the, the newest developer version uh, that has the Python uh, scripts that I'm running. So that's the first thing. But I will put a link to the one that I'm using. So, so hopefully that will uh, take care of that issue if you are having that issue. Okay, so... Secondly, this is uh, old London out here, okay? Just now I'm going to set it up here so that we can take a look at it. And, and if, uh, if we look at the uh, textures here, you'll see that uh, there's, really, there's really not too much to this other than some of the, the base colors. That's all that came over here. So what we'd like to do is get any uh, bump or normal maps as well as any roughness. I don't think there's any metallic maps in this, but we want to get uh, those two in particular. And we want to do it easily. We don't want to. We rather not do it by hand. So my, that's what the whole purpose of my routine is: is to run it uh, automatically. So we're going to go into the script, and I change it a little bit. It will deal now more correctly with heights. So you want to make sure you get the latest version of my script, which right now is. Let me look at the version. I'm now running 1.3. So that's the version that you should probably try to get. Uh, and 1.3 is going to do something a little different. It's helpful to me, and I think it'll be helpful to you, too. So we go here to script, do this, and we run, uh, run this one. And when we run this, the first thing it does is open up the directory in which all the textures are available for us uh, for that particular environment. So this is really good. I'm going to show you why this is good in a second. So it opens these up so that we can see this is where it's drawing all the maps from for this for this alley. So when we come back here, then it gives you our usual messages. And as you recall, uh, it's going to show you the things that doesn't match. We're not really worried about these. I have a feeling these ones that have an O at the end of it, are they're not opacity texture. So it's a good thing it didn't match those. Uh, there's something else, and I'm not really even sure what that is, uh, what that old version is. And the other message we get if you have um, uh, Pillow installed is it tells you that it can't adjust the PNGs because it needs JPEGs. Um, and that's okay. We're not really too worried about that. So other than that, it matched everything and did everything correctly. So now we're going to go back to modify and look at what it did here. And this is important because even when it finds all the maps that it can find, you're going to need to use some of your intelligence. I mean, as a programmer, I can only program so much automatically, and some of it, it just needs some intelligence. I'm going to show you exactly what I mean by that. So we're going to go down here, and you're going to see these things. So we're going to go to Brick. You notice Brick, it found the bump, and it found the roughness. That's really good. Uh, brick 3 houses, it did. This Brick 4, it did find the bump and the roughness. Brick 5, it found the roughness, but not the bump. We're going to talk about that in a second. Brick 6, it found the roughness, but not the bump. Brick Road, it only found the base color. And so I'm going to stop here right at the moment. Uh, I think Brick Road, let me see if this is, I think this is the brick. No, that's uh, cobblestone. All right. Well, let's, I don't know where the Brick Road is offhand here. Let me see if I can find out where the, okay, here, there's the Brick Road. Brick Road's in the middle of the cobblestone. Okay. So here it only found the base color. So, and you can see that if we go down here and we, we adjust and we turn off the uh, opacity, so that's that's where that is. And if we lower the the base color completely, you'll see it. Just uh, that's that's the only thing it found on that is the color. Now let's look back at the textures, these maps that came out. It found that one, and that's called pathway. Oh, very interesting. So my routine, what it does is it grabs the name of the texture. 
And you'll notice, for example, up here where it's called Beams, Beams S, it takes that name and then it chops it off and finds anything that matches this. So this is Beams S and it's got a normal. So it puts the normals in for Beams. Uh, it ignores this O, which is good because I really don't know what this O is. It's not opacity. And the S is a specular, so it puts that in. So it, it's intelligent enough to read the name of the material and then try to find the extensions when they're written properly. But in this case, the developer, either because he was lazy or maybe he was copying maps over from another uh, item that he had, but in any case, he called this pathway, but he called the specular and the normal math maps path. Well, there's no way that my routine can make that leap. It just can't, and we wouldn't want it to. We wouldn't want pathway to match anything that started off with path because you could have a lot of different things. That, you know, you could have a, a path you know, way south, a pathway north. You could have lots of different ones. So it can't possibly know that this matches these two. But as a person, we do know that. So what we do as a person is we come over here to this pathway. I'm going to take this off screen. It's on my other monitor, but I'm going to take the normal map for path and drop it in there and, and make it a normal. And you can see immediately we get an improvement. We can see the normals in there. And I'm going to do the same for the specular for the roughness, unique texture. We don't want it linked to all the other things. So now we've adjusted that ourselves. And you might say, yeah, Mike, but if we have to do that by hand for everything, you know, my routine will capture a lot of stuff. It'll make the work a lot better, but you're still going to have to go through all these textures. And for the most part, just make sure they're right. Uh, so the same thing for the brick texture. This this developer is really <laughs> kind of lazy here. Here's the brick texture. And if we come over here to this and we look at all these bricks, that actually happens to match this one, brick one. But again, it's not, it, I'm sorry, I take it back. It matches uh, brick three. That's right. It's a brick three texture if I, if I look at this. This is what loaded in as, as, I don't know, maybe it's brick one. I don't know what it was. Oh, it must be brick one. That's right. It's brick one. Sorry. Brick one, because it does match the specular for brick one correctly, but we don't have any, any normal map. Well, one thing you can do is you can fake it. You can drag in a, a specular map that's similar to that and make that a bump map, and that will actually improve your, your textures a little bit. Then you might want to edit this a little bit and maybe bump up the contrast a little bit to get to be a little more uh, difference. And if, if you actually look closely at that, you would see that that is making that texture look a little better. So again, this is something that you can do manually yourself to get the textures looking better on things. Uh, the one last thing I want to look at is this roof texture. So we're going to go over here and again, we're going to uh, just take a shortcut to select it. And you'll notice the base color is here. This is the, the roof itself. You can see those tiles. So why didn't it find a bump or a roughness map? Well, let's look down and find out. Uh, it's called Roof Shingles. So that's Roof Shingles. That's what that actually is, that texture there. And you'll notice, again, the normals are uh, called Roof and Roof S. So again, I can't match Roof Shingles to Roof and Roof S. I just can't. Because you'll notice, anything that starts off with a roof, I can't match Roof Plank. That's different. So th these two match correctly for Roof Plank, but they won't match Roof. So you just have to know that. So in this particular case... For normals, I'm going to drag over the roof normals because I know that that's what it is. It's a normal map. And you'll see immediately that makes it a ton better. I might want to turn that down just a little bit, but not much. That's good. And then the same thing for the, uh, the specular for that. So again, uh, this is something that you're going to just have to do in order to get your textures better. Uh, it, it's... My routine can only do so much, uh, you know, of the work for you, the, the heavy lifting, so to speak. So you don't have to drag over and, and do, you know, thousands of textures. But a lot of them, you're going to, particularly when you look at the maps. So when this comes up and you look at maps and you see things like that that just don't seem to match up. I think there's another one here that's, uh, oh yeah, the metal, the metal grunge. Here's another one. Metal grunge, you can see that's the, that's the actual texture. But then... The normals and the specular are just called grunge. So if you see that in your maps, you, you can say to yourself, you know, I can see right away. This is going to be an issue because these aren't going to match up with anything. Um, I think in my uh, one of my iterations on the Blender routine, I brought over uh, or listed, I should say, I listed all the maps that were not used in the scene. So that in, in addition to the things that if you go to the council, the, the things that didn't match up, I also listed maps 
that should have been used, uh, or at least that, that were, had the potential of being used. Um, if you want that, I could, I could also add this, and that would give you a heads up to say, oh, you know, here's some maps that probably should have been used. But for now, I think I'm going to leave it just like it is and assume that you're going to do some of the brain work yourself. Uh, for the most part, you won't have this. Most developers are pretty disciplined, and they don't do that to you. Uh, they'll, they'll use the naming conventions like this. So here's Cobble. Cobble D, Cobble N, Cobble S, that's great, that's great. But if he had one that said Cobblestone, and then they did Cobble D, Cobble N, Cobble S, well, that would be a problem. So uh, you can find that out. You can look at the maps and say, okay, well, this developer looks pretty straightforward, but here's a few issues here that I'll have to look out for. So hopefully that helps. Again, I'm going to put a link to the version that I'm using of iClone uh, 7.4, with that you should be running my scripts with and it will run all the all the newest scripts too and um, let me know if you have any other problems if you ever come across something you think that the textures aren't all coming in and you can't figure it out just post it let me know and i promise you i'll take a look at it and see if i can figure it out